Hi, God bless you. How you guys doing? This is Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves and I'm so excited. I just wanted to come on here really quickly and just encourage you guys. Yeah, Team Moses. Woo -hoo. Yes, thank you, thank you. I see y'all been watching my vlogs. So if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's going to bless you guys. Amen. So I am downstairs cooking meatloaf and some sauteed cabbage or something for my mother. But I have a few minutes I wanted to come on here to encourage you guys, amen, and let's pray for you guys. But I want to show you guys my new book. I've written 13 books. This is my new book, School Little Prophets, A Curriculum for Success. I just give God glory because this book is selling out. I just had to put another big, huge shipment in, and, you know, I still got orders from that. So you still have a little bit more time to pre-order the book. It won't be released until i think july 16th on amazon but you can get it for me early all right yeah you got yours please write me a review next month write me a review yes go ahead and order it it's going to bless you guys hey amen so i'm not gonna be on here you know a long time but um i'm gonna come back later and teach on the prophetic amen i got some teaching amen we're gonna do some deliverance a little bit later but today i want to give you uh you're on your first book amen you can do it yay i'm excited for you tisha amen all right so I just let's just give God praise. Amen. God will just give you praise for who you are, Lord. See, a lot of people, um, you you're in a situation and you need God to do something for you supernaturally. You know, I, I want to tell you guys that it's not too difficult for God. It is not too difficult for God. Amen. See, you, you may feel like, Lord, uh, how am I ever going to get out of this situation, Lord? It seems like every time I do something right, it seems like the wrong things are happening, God. God, I've been obeying you, but it seems like the wrong things, you know, are happening. God, things aren't lining up, God, with your word. God, I'm tired of being stuck. I'm tired, God, of being frustrated. I don't understand, Lord, how everything's going to work out for me. But it's not too difficult for God. Amen. See, people need homes, people need better jobs, people need stability, but it's not too hard for God. People need God to fix your relationships, to bless your household, to bless you on your job, but it's not too difficult for God to do. Amen. I need somebody to put up here. It is not too difficult for God. Amen. Come on now. It, yep. God, God can relocate you. Amen. God just relocated me. I was in the wilderness for three long years. Amen. In Colorado, Jesus. But now God relocated me and I feel uh, the fire of God. Amen. It is not too difficult for God. Let me give you this word really quickly and I'm getting ready to get off of here because I'm steaming some cabbage and I don't want my cabbage to burn. All right. But it's Isaiah 59. Amen. Verse 1. Isaiah 59 verse 1, I need you to meditate on this and this is going to bless you. Amen. See, the, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save. Neither is his ear, you know, heavy that it cannot hear. Neither is his ear deaf where he cannot hear. W what am I saying? That God's hand is not too short where he cannot reach down and deliver you up out of some things. Where, you know, where he has forsaken you. You know, God's hand, let me tell you something. God can look in your situation and pull you up out. Amen. God can turn that thing around. instantaneously, suddenly. Amen. See, I want to encourage somebody. Don't stop praying. Do not stop praying. A lot of people, you're frustrated in your prayer life. You can barely get a, a prayer out of your mouth, barely get a prayer through. If you don't know what to pray, I need you to pray in the spirit. Sing a song unto God. Sing a, sing a sweet melody unto him. Amen? Because it's not too difficult for God. You know, I, let me see. About three years ago, I got evicted. I didn't know where I was going to lay my head at. Amen. But I didn't even, I just came to God. I said, God, my resources, God, are dried up. I don't know who to ask. So I'm coming to you. And guess what? God made a way for me. I didn't ask anybody for nothing. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? And, and God gave somebody a dream and they knew they had to bless me. Come on, somebody. So you mean to tell me that God can't come through for you when he came through for me? Amen. Keep trying. You may have failed at something, but keep keep going. Amen. Some people feel so rejected. You feel forsaken. You feel lonely. You feel abandoned. Let me tell you something. In those lonely times, I had a lonely, let me tell you, I had some many lonely days. Amen. But I found a friend in Jesus. 
I said I found the friend in Jesus. When I was in the backside of the mountain, when I was isolated, when I was like, God, what is going on? When I felt like I didn't have a voice, when I felt like nobody cared, when I felt like nobody wanted to support. Come on now, somebody. Amen. But I found a friend in the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I feel fire. I feel fire on my, my face, my arms. So the hand of the Lord is not too short. Somebody put that up here. That God's hand, excuse me, that God's, uh, his hand is not too short. Put that up here. His hand is not too short. Amen. Continue to give God praise. Maybe your car broke down. Maybe you lost your car. Maybe you just lost your job. Maybe you got a bad doctor's report. Don't come into agreement with that. Say, no, nah, God, this ain't my life. God, I've been serving you, God. I know, God, what you have promised me. So I know, God, your hand is not too short. Amen. That's why I say God's hand is not too short. You know, I may be suffering right now. Let me tell you something. I told a woman of God last night, the word. If you desire to live a godly life, you're going to face some persecution. You're going to have to suffer. Amen. A lot of people won't tell you that. But come on, I know all about suffering. I can do a, a whole, I can write a book on suffering. Amen. So you're going to have to suffer. You're going to go through some things. You're going to get persecuted. You're going to get slandered. But at the end of the day, God has a plan. Somebody put up here, God has a plan. Amen. He has a plan. God has an amazing plan for each and every one of you guys. An amazing plan. See, listen, you may be, you know, feeling like, God, I I'm just so overlooked. But do you ever consider that God is preparing you? God is increasing the anointing in you. God is literally opening up doors for you. God is setting some of you guys up. Man, I'm going to tell you something. And I, I, Jesus, I feel like prophesying to somebody. Listen to me, people. Listen to me really closely. See, your time is coming. I need some people right now to celebrate the great things that God is doing in your neighbor's life. To celebrate the great things that God is doing in somebody else's life. Amen. Don't be jealous. Don't, don't fall into the bait of envy. Amen. I need you to honestly, honestly pray for other individuals that God is blessing. Your, your time is coming. What's for you is for you. You don't have to be jealous of, of somebody else's uh, uh, blessing. Come on now. That's right. Keep, keep speaking that up. You know, it's your time. That's right. It's your time. Keep speaking that up every day. Every day like, whoo, God, I give you praise, God. Something amazing is going to happen in my life. God, I give you praise that something great is going to happen for me, Lord. I don't care if you are in debt. I don't care if, you know, uh, People are just backstabbing you. I don't care. Just give God his glory because God's going to take care of you. His hand is not too short and his ears aren't, you know, aren't deaf or he cannot hear you. God hears you. Amen. Have you ever considered that God is increasing your faith? Have you ever considered that God is birthing patience in you? Have you ever considered, hey, that God is teaching you how to pray? Come on now. Have you ever considered that God is teaching you long suffering? You know? Amen. That God is developing tenacity inside of you. Don't stop praying. Some of y'all didn't even know how to pray till you got into the wilderness. Amen. Maybe I'm preaching to myself on here. Amen. It was not till I got in the wilderness when I hit rock bottom when I lost everything that I learned how to get a prayer through. My God. But before then, I didn't even know what, how to pray and what to say out of my mouth. Amen. See, somebody just give God praise. Listen to me. I'm going to put this phone down. Somebody need to give God praise for the hardships. Give God praise for the adversity. Give God praise. Let me tell you something. Something happened to me the other day. I had I had um, anxiety for five years. I'm going to be very transparent to, you know, just to be a blessing. Amen. So I had anxiety for five long years. And then I was driving down, you know, just trying to look for a house around here. And I started to feel that spirit come upon me. I rebuked that. But you know what I did? I began to give God praise. And immediately it left. And that was a reminder. That was a reminder to me where God brought me from. Amen. So I just give God praise. So you got to look at some things. Even though it may not be going away the way that you wanted to. Look at some things through the eyes of faith. Look at some things and be like, God, I see why I had to go through this. Amen. Some of y'all are going to look at your situations and be like, man, I see why I'm going through this. Because it's not for me, God. It's for somebody else. Because you're building me a testimony. Amen. Yes. Amen. I'm telling you, people of God. So let me give you some more word. And I'm getting ready to get off of here. Amen. So this is what the Lord told Moses in, in Numbers 11, 23. 
Amen. That's right. God's going to do it for you, woman of God. Amen. <laughs> Left hand ministry. Woo -woo. God's going to do it. All right. So the Lord asked Moses, his prophet. He says, is the Lord's power limited? Yeah, I see a two-story house. That's right. Prophesy. Amen. Now receive it. All right. Is the Lord's power limited? So my question to you guys is, is what God wants to do in your life, is it limited? Are you going to put God in the box? Are you going to put some limitations on the spirit of the Lord? Amen. You know, God also asks his prophet. Now you shall see whether my word will come true for you or not. So I'm going to prophesy. Amen. That you're going to begin to see that his word is going to come true for you or not. Amen. There's no limits on God. No limits. I need some people to get your expectations up. Get your expectations up and say, God, I'm going to trust you. I know what you've spoken to me. A lot of you guys on here, you hear God. God sent you confirmation. I need some people to stand on that word. Stand on, stand on that word as if your life depended on it. Stand on the word of God and say, you know, God is not a liar. God is true. He's all faithful. He's all powerful. He's all knowing. You know, I, I know this ain't my, 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 my uh, final destination. This is just a stepping stone. Amen. Still on that word as if your life depended on it. God sent you prophets. God had some people that were so anointed to speak in your life. They told you everything that you were praying for. They, 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 they interpret your dreams. Come on, somebody. Amen. Who am I talking to? They, they, they read all your mail. They read all your business. Amen. Believe God. Amen. God sometimes will send a prophet. I don't know why I'm going here, but somebody needs to hear this. God will send a prophet to... to to uh, confirm some things into you. Amen. As a reminder. To tell you guys. Hey he's working for you. You know. Somebody said I'm going to put my, put my trust in God. I'm going to put my trust in God. Amen. I'm going to put my trust in God. Yeah I may cry. Amen. It, it may hurt. Amen. I may feel discouraged sometimes. But I'm not going to speak that up out of my mouth. I'm going to believe God. Because you know it's not too difficult for God. Amen. Years ago, I used to have a, a bad anger issue and I destroyed some property. You know, I'm going to be very transparent. Amen. And uh, I repented and got my life together, but I had to pay thousands of dollars for restitution. And guess what happened? Amen. I, I couldn't pay it up in the natural. So I said, God, the, the attorney is on my back. They pressure me, God, to get a better job. X, Y, Z. But guess what? It was not too difficult for God. God came through for the, you know, he met the deadline. He met the deadline. And that's what you need to do. Amen. Believe God that he's going to meet your deadlines. Amen. You know, I love the phrase, we have, we serve 1159 gods. Because some of your deadline is midnight. Amen. But God can come through for you at 1159. Amen. Jesus. I just, just give God praise. Amen. I'm getting ready to get off of here, but, you know, I feel uh, somebody has, uh, like, arthritis in your right knee. If you get up right now, you're going to be healed. Amen. Just move. Amen. Hallelujah. I start to feel word of knowledge is manifesting. Move. Amen. Uh, and be healed in Jesus' name. Also, hallelujah. You know, uh, that, hallelujah. Get up. That's your left knee. Get up and move. But if somebody has arthritis in the right knee, I need you to move. And also, it's a pregnant woman on here. You have uh, bad back pain. God will heal you in Jesus' name. Get up and move in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So let me just pray for you corporately. I'm getting ready to get off of here. Amen. If you're not following me, follow me. Amen. Put your hand on your right ear. Miracle season 77 as an as a act of uh, faith. Amen. And I break that ear infection off of you. And I send forth the fire of God right now in your ear canal. In Jesus' name. Let me know miracle season 77 if you feel heat in that right ear. Amen. Hallelujah. That was your right knee women ministry. You don't feel the pain. Praise God. Woo! Hallelujah. I pray. I touch and agree right now for your job. Amen. For a new job. Interviews. Favor with that. Promotions in Jesus' name. Your ear is popping open. That's God. Woo! You see this, y'all? She said her ear is popping open. Amen. I pray for your son to have a job. Somebody just give God praise. Amen. See, God, I'm about to start crying. Woo, Jesus. Woo, God. God is awesome. Woo, God. Hallelujah. Listen. Somebody, somebody put one more time. At, we're, we're agreeing. And when we agree, there's, there's power in agreement. That is not too hard for God. Amen. Give God praise. That's right. Speak it out. 
You know, God, I pray right now for favor to be released. Favor these people, God. These are your precious children. Favor them, God, in all areas of their lives. Favor them in their businesses, their ministries. Favor them in their relationships. Favor them, God. I touch and agree as an act of faith, God. Lord, as your vessel, God, to do something great in their lives. Amen. If somebody just lift hands right now. Oh, Jesus. Lift hands and I just send forth the fire, God, to cover you. Peace upon you right now. Just receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Somebody has a bad headache on the left side. You know, you've been just real sensitive to light and just laying down. I just pray right now for healing right now in your head in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, I need you to be encouraged. Amen. You know, I break off heaviness off of you. Amen. You know, a lot of people... People just want want to just cry and weep, but give God praise. If you sown tears, you know, just sown, and if you weep, I'm telling you, oh Jesus, some of you better, uh, Jesus, reap tears of joy. Amen. So you're gonna sing songs of joy. Amen. Since you sown in tears, you're gonna sing songs of joy. Amen. So God, we just give you praise. Amen. I, I, I touch and agree. I command a job to open up for you now in Jesus' name. And now break that heaviness off of you. Get up, Joni Alcorn, and begin to move. Amen. I, I prophesy. Just begin to move and praise God. And I break that heaviness off of you in Jesus' name. We take authority over that. And we just command it to go in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. People of God, you be encouraged. I love you guys. If you want to connect with me, go to my website, KimberlyHarvest.com. I have so many events coming up. Amen. Let's go on my website. Um, I'm going to be preaching uh, next month at the end. Uh, I think July 23rd in Farmville. So those in the Carolina area, you can come meet me next month. I'll be in Mississippi next month, July the, the July the 6th through the 8th. I want to see you guys there. All of my uh, itineraries on my website. Women on here, I encourage you to sign up for the Help I'm Single. I need help. Uh, excuse me. I'm thinking about the conference I did last month. Uh, help I need help becoming that uh, Proverbs 31 woman conference. You know, I encourage you to sign up. Amen. I love you guys. Send me your prayer request. Amen. Send me your prayer request to my email info at KimberlyHargress.com. I love you. God bless you.